Hi everybody, um, Tibor Tez from the Timing Solution News Group um, had remembered a post that I made um, back at the end of last year regarding uh, the daily projection line for Bitcoin US dollar. <clears throat> so I took a look at it and it does indeed look pretty, uh, pretty good here coming um, uh, the pink area being uh, supposedly blind to the program and it created a projection line based on a Q spectrum to um, calculation back at the very first day of 2021 and this was the projection line for 2022 um, and following along these are the dollar amounts with one lot uh, that you would have made and, and just looking over it again, I discovered a ma major error, and that's an important one here. Um, so um, the, the idea is using the annual cycle, sun minus sun, um, but finding a better harmonic uh, for it, uh, to, according to the instrument, finding the best cycle for it, I ran Q spectrum to in a Q spectrum right here and found this deep trough um, which was 201 days and created that um, projection line but here's the error notice that I had LBC set to final forecast and that should have been set to back testing mode so that the um, data in front of it in the pink area was uh, invisible it was not able to see that Okay, so um, <laughs> so taking a new look at it, then um, let me just make this big here. So now uh, Q spectrum two, um, we have this set to back testing mode, and I also extended the um, number of days out to eight hundred days uh, because this is um, daily data. <coughs> Excuse me. Found a deep trough here at 431.6999 days and plug that into my handy spreadsheet, which is no more than a simple calculator for all these different instruments, uh, with sun minus sun merely being 365.26 days divided by that prominent cycle which gave me this factor, or this harmonic, and harmonic of 0.84 rather than a full one. <clears throat> okay, so let's plug that in, and 0.84, um, smoothing orb, uh, click this right here, and I have the smooth here set to 100% and normal last cycle weight 100%, geo, manual, and inverted, another important point here. And I knew that it should be inverted after the program calculated this because in normal mode, look what is happening here in the data in the last half of 2020. So this is heading up, but the curve is heading down. That's a sure sign that you want to change the orientation 180 and the phase. And so I switched it to inverted. And as we go along for the first half of the year, it's looking very good again. Uh, it caught a peak right here in April uh, and down from there. And then I am of the opinion that uh, with this cycle length and this situation um, that it's probably good for six months and then we ought to recalculate it again. It's not going to take out a year or two years of forward projection. So uh, that's what we'll do here. Let's go ahead and reset the LBC here and then recalculate Q Spectrum 2. Uh, right here, calculate. 
Let me erase the old line. So this is inverse is coming down to 9, and this one is at 8. That's a good one, too. Um, both of them look pretty good. Let's start with this one. So 462. Plug that in. And it's just doing the math for me. You could use a calculator, it's no problem. Copy that. Plug that into the manual box here. And then let's take a look at do we want to invert this or have it be normal? So I'll move that out of the way. As I look at this last swing, and hmm. Trying to see how I'm going to decide whether that should be normal or inverted. Put that to normal. It's generally pulling this down movement in here. So that's a good indication, um, this long swing downward here, that I do want to take this and put it back to normal. Okay. And just looking ahead, so for the second half of the year with this new calculation, it's showing a rise up into November and then a dip down. And that's where we are at up until the end of 2022. Um, so this was using the same data from that post um, from the end of December uh, 2021. So, okay, I uh, hope that's helpful to you. Uh, see you on the forum.